Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're gonna talk about the traits that women look for in a man. Now I know there's a million fucking traits that men, women look for, but what I wanna do is give you guys the most traits that most women look for in most men. And to do that, we're gonna dissect romance novels. There's no accident that romance novels basically follow the same script. There's a hero, there's a man, this man is typically rich, this man displays a dark triad where he is mysterious. This man may have some Machiavellian tendencies where he's powerful, he might be feared, and this is what drives women wild. Now I know women say, oh, I just want a nice guy. I just want a guy who's all about me. That's full of shit. This is what women think they want, but it's their purchasing power that tells us a different story. And because more women than not buy these romance novels, which often turn into hit movies, Fifty Shades of Grey is a, was I believe the number one most selling romance novel. And it was like one of the most number one watched movies by women. So what women say they want in a man versus what they actually want are two vastly different things. So I wanted to digest a basic romance novel. And I'm gonna give you guys some of the attributes that get pulled out of most of these stories. And if you can display some or most of these traits, then by default, you are going to be more desired by more women. Make sense? Absolutely it makes sense, because I make sense. The very first trait that we're gonna encompass all other traits in is women want a fucking hero. And when we're using hero, we're gonna interchange that hero with your alpha male. No woman wants a man in second place. No woman wants a guy who's runner up. Runner up is just first loser. Rich Cooper says it, women will wait at the finish line and fuck the winners. This is what they do. So they want a man who's at the top of his game. They want a man who is that alpha man role. Now we've done videos on what alpha men are. I'm sure you all guys know what an alpha man is. I'll leave links down below to some videos I've done on what an alpha man is. We're not gonna get into that part today, but they want the hero. They want the guy in charge. They want the man with the plan. They want numero uno. They don't want second, they don't want third. And when it comes to that attribute of they want a hero, they want the alpha male, they want numero uno, then by default this man is a very dominant man. And this is the second thing most women look for in a man. They want a man who can dominate, not just her mind, her heart, her soul, her body. She wants to be consumed by this man. Remember, where women fall in love, it's in their mind. It's in their imagination. They want a man who can basically mind fuck her, who can control every part of her in a positive way. More studies have been done on this dominant man, this, this alpha man who's more dominant. It's the voice of a dominant man, the smell of this dominant man, the way he moves, the way he talks, even his facial features women gravitate towards this type of guy. On top of being a dominant man, now she wants this man who can dominate her. He's obviously very dominant in his business. He's very dominant in what he does. Otherwise he wouldn't be the alpha male. She also wants a kind man. Now remember, I didn't say a good man. I didn't say a good guy. I didn't say a nice guy. She wants a kind man, but who's only kind to her. This is the difference. This is what I need the takeaway in here is. So she wants a man who's very dominant, who's the alpha man, who's kind to her, not necessarily everyone else. She wants him to be nice to other people and to do what he's got to do, but he doesn't want, she doesn't want him to show that sweetness, that tenderness to other women. She also wants 
her men to be wealthy. And all, I, tell me one romance novel where the hero isn't wealthy. There are some heroes out there, like say sheriffs and fire, fire, firemen, policemen, and all this. They have the hero archetype, but they're not wealthy. This is why they're not in romance novels. She would prefer a man who has money. And because this man is an alpha man, because he's dominant, because he's kind to her, not necessarily everyone else, because he has built himself up in resources, he has wealth, he has to then by default be competent. You don't do all of this being dumb. So she wants the man, her man to be very competent in his abilities. A hero is always competent. He's the best at what he does. Now here's the flip side to this, where a lot of women get wrong, and a lot of women think this is a selling feature to date them. Men don't give a shit about how competent a female is. This is why one of the main reasons why successful women are not typically good at dating, they struggle in dating, because they think, because they're competent, because they're alpha females, that other men will want them. And it's a turnoff for men. See how it's a turn on for women to have a strong, capable, dominant alpha man who's competent, but all those attributes into a woman, it's a turn off. This is why they're acting more like men. This is why men, we're not afraid of her being competitive with us. We're not afraid that she's better than us. It's purely a turn off. We, we look and say, you're supposed to be soft and yielding. You're supposed to be our helper. You're supposed to compliment us, not compete against us, especially if we're in a relationship. This is why competent women, high value women, struggle so much in relationships. If a man is competent, he has all these attributes, he's obviously driven. See when I put this into hero, hero is probably the best word, the best takeaway with all of this. Become her hero. Become everything she wants in this romance novel and you have her for life. Because he's driven and he's competent and he's an alpha man and he's kind to her and he's not kind to everybody else and he has money, he would have to also then be intelligent. No dummy can create all this. Again, hero. Just put hero at the top. Think about these romance novels. Think, of, think about these superheroes that are very, Tony Stark would be a, a good example where he has all this money, has women after him all the time. This is what women are looking for. She also wants a man, look at guys, attractiveness is very important. Now, attractiveness is subjective. So when I say she wants a man who's attractive, I'm then gonna put in to her. However, there are lots of attributes more women find attractive than not. And so your goal is to become the most attractive you can given the qualities you have. If you're very small and emaciated, get to the gym, put some muscle on. If you're a fat fuck, lose some weight. Both of these, you can become more attractive in your body. Maybe you can start dressing better. Maybe you can start grooming better. Maybe you can change your hairstyle. If you're balding, maybe you can shave it off. There's things you can do to bring up your overall attractiveness. Name me one superhero and name me one romance novel rich guy who's overweight, with bad teeth, who dresses like a bum, who's poor doesn't happen these are why the guy this is why they create the same type of man because women are looking for this exact type of man so she you need to be attractive and you can definitely work on your attractiveness she also wants a man who's popular and we call this pre-selective have you ever been in a relationship with a woman and all of a sudden other women are starting to come on to you or other women are starting to notice you, it's because you've been marked by your woman as being pre-selective. And women can pick up on that, that there's another woman that wants you. Ergo, 
All these other women have FOMO, fear of missing out. They want to know what you're all about because you got the stamp of approval from one other female. Likewise, have you ever been in a, in a dry spell when you really just couldn't get a date, girls wouldn't really look at you because you weren't pre-selected. You didn't have that mark. This is why I tell you, it's always better to socialize with women, to have women within your orbit. Even if you have a main woman, have other women in your orbit. It keeps that that pre-selection going. It keeps your woman on her toes. It keeps competition anxiety alive. This is all things that spike attraction. I'm not saying you go out and date all these women and sleep with them behind your woman's back. What I'm saying is it's a little bit healthy and it's a little bit okay letting your, your woman know, hey, if you fuck up, there's others here. Don't, don't you worry about it. I'm a firm believer in that because women do get porky. So you need to have and keep your options within your realm of orbit. And finally, if you're the hero archetyped and you're attractive and you have money and you're kind but not necessarily kind to her and you're competent and you're intelligent and all these other things, she also wants you to be emotionally available to her. In most of these Hallmark shows and most of these romance novels, it always ends with happily ever after. They're in a house at the end of the day. They're in this beautiful monogamous relationship. In a woman's mind, that's the end result is that's what they want. They want a man who is all about her, who's emotionally available only to her. She wants other women to want her, her man. That's, she wants to see that because that creates that competition anxiety. That creates that fear of missing out. That creates that, okay, other women want him. I must not be crazy. So in short, guys, all of these attributes can fall into one word, hero. She wants to have she wants you to be that hero type. She wants you to be her hero. And if you can be her hero, if you can have more of these attributes than not, then you will have your choice with women. And maybe the woman that you have in your life right now, you can re-sparkle, re-spark that romance. You can get that fire and passion back because you prove to her that you are her hero. My name is Jared Schumacher. This is the Magnetic Men's Club. If you found this video helpful, please hit like. Hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, and leave me a comment. With that, have a great day, and we'll talk soon.